there guys for today's video i'm going to show you how to create fisheye lens effect in photoshop and also we will dive deeper into changing of image size duplicating of layers applying isperize filter using elliptical marketing tool for creating selection and changing channel with the use of a blending option so let's get started so here in our document i have here a landscape image of the city so the first step to create a fish lens effect here is we have to change the image size having a same size with the length and the width so to do that going on to the menu bar go to image go to image size so this dialog box would appear now before i apply the amount here make sure that it's not active all right something like that all right not this one but this one instead okay so I'm going to set the width into the amount of 100 and also the height of 100. So we have the same width and the same height. That will create a perfect square, right? Then hit OK. All right, so let's zoom this one out. So there you go. That's our square. Now the next step here is we're going to duplicate our background layer. So going on to the Layers panel, click on the background layer to make it active. Press Ctrl plus J to create a duplicate layer. And let's name this one as the fish eye lens so there you are all right and then select it in the fish eye lens layer i'm going to apply here the sphere size filter so with that layer active go to the menu bar go to filter go to distort and find is for eyes click on that so this dialog box will appear for the amount first i'm going to set this one into amount of 100 percent for the mode of normal then hit ok now it create this kind of effect amazing we have to double this one all right creating more curves on the sides so to do that again with that fish island layer selected go to the menu bar go to filter instead you're going if you're still if you're going to apply the same effect with the same amount you can see here the uh, previous effect that you just applied with the same amount right so this one just click this one there you go and by the way if you find this video helpful so far please consider subscribing to help youtube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us moving on the next step we're gonna do here is we're going to create a selection around this sphere right so to do that with that fish eye lens layer selected go to the toolbar go on to the second tool right click on the second tool and you're gonna find there the elliptical marketing tool select that now this is the reason why we adjust the image size i'm going to start click and drag this one to create a round selection something like that All right now i'm going to press shift as well hold it to create a perfect one perfect circle there you are once where you have the selection release and then go here at the layers panel go down here select on the add layer mask there you are all right so i'm going to hide the background for us to see what happens so actually this is already what we have now okay now let's apply here black background so select it on the background layer go to the adjustment layer icon go to solid and set this one to color black then hit ok all right now as you have noticed here that the image has really sharp edges right okay so select on this fish eye lens layer i'm also going to click on the layer mask thumbnail of it there you go then from the properties you can see the feather here i'm going to increase this one to the amount that i want so i'm good with nine pixels there you are okay now the next step here is that we're going to resize this fish eye lens layer click on that to make it active press ctrl plus t for the transformation command and now we may now able to adjust this one all right something like this then hit enter now the next step here is we're going to create a duplicate layer of that fish eye lens layer so click on that to make it active press ctrl plus j there you go now from this fish eye lens copy right click on that go to blending options click that from the blending options go here under the advanced blending i'm going to untick the red and the green one make sure the blue one is only that is ticked right now once you created that you, you can see the effect 
on our kind of a circle. Uh, you see that blue thing around the circle? That's it. And then hit OK. All right. And that's it. Let me show you the before and after. So this one is the before. And this one is the after. And that is how to create a fisheye lens effect in Photoshop.